In this lesson, we'll continue by looking at some critical concepts or important terms in geometry, okay? Now, the next term we would like to look at is what is a line segment, okay? Um, this is a straight line having two distinct endpoints, okay? And what do we mean by a straight line? Well, we would have already looked at that definition in the previous video, so you could check that. Um, and what do we mean by two distinct endpoints? Two distinct endpoints. I'm simply saying then the line segment has a starting point and it has a finishing point. All right. So let's just draw a line segment here. Just look, let's, let's look at a quick example to show you what we're talking about. Just let me change this color quickly to a yeah. This is a nice color. So here is my line segment. If you notice now, when I'm dealing with my line segment, I don't have any arrowheads on the end of my line segments. This simply means then I have two distinct endpoints, meaning that my line segment would start here and it would go and it would end here. That's what I mean by two distinct endpoints. It has a starting point and then it has a finishing point. Okay? Now good. And simply I'm just going to label my give my line segment a name and that can be done. Let me just put a mark there to say then that my line segment passes through the points X and the point Y. So when you're reading books or in the exam, you may see a notation such as X, Y. Okay, this means, and you have a bar above it. This means that I'm speaking about a line segment that starts at X and ends at Y. Okay, so th that's what we mean by a line segment. It's that easy, guys. Again, I can give my line segment a name, and let's just quickly look at that. I'm going to use black now. So let's say my line segment passes through these two points, and let's say then that this is the point P and this is the point Q then my line segment would can be denoted as the line segment PQ. So that's it as it relates to line segment. Okay, the next important um, point that I would like to look at now is what we is what we mean when we're speaking about array. And basically array is a line that has one endpoint and goes forever in one direction. All right, and that's that's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. Um, when I'm speaking about array, um, one quick example should come to mind is the ray of the sun. It starts at the sun and it continues forever in the universe. Okay, another uh, practical example of array is the light bulb. When you turn on the light, um, if you notice the entire room is lit right so the the the, the light bulb um, provides rays that starts where the light bulb is at in the socket in the in the roof or in the ceiling and it it continues from there and it projects in the room okay so let's look at what is a ray and how it how it looks all right and this is pretty this is pretty cool uh, this is this is my ray here now so this is my ray. If you notice, it has a starting point. It starts, and I'm going to give that a. It starts at the point A, okay, and passes through. Let me change my color, and it passes through through the point D, okay. So in books, you may see stuff like the the ray. Since it starts at A and it continues forever, if you notice, I have a arrowhead at the tip of my line to suggest that it don't it, it doesn't stop. It goes forever in one direction, right? So this would be my ray A D, okay? And that's what we mean by array. Okay, it has a starting point. It has a point that it starts at and it continues forever in one direction. It's it's that easy. Other examples of rays, uh, I could. Uh, let me just change my color. Oops, sorry. Let me just change my color here now. I have a green ray now going in that direction. All right. So that's another example of array. All right, running in this direction. Oops. All right. So. It's just basically that. It's that easy, guys. Bye-bye.